Hey, what's up everybody? It's that dude, Derek. On this episode of Can to Can Combat, we're having a Blue Raspberry Battle Royal. Hey, what's up everybody? It's that dude, Derek. Thanks for tuning into my channel where we're always gonna give you honest, unbiased reviews of energy drinks, supplements, fitness products, recipes, and whatever else is gonna help you reach your fitness goals. On today's episode of Can to Can Combat, I'm gonna be reviewing six different blue raspberry flavored energy drinks. I'm gonna take you through the label, do a taste test, give them a rating, and then rank them first to worst. Before we get started, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any more of this can to can combat action, and let's run through those labels. So first up, we have the OG Bang Blue Raz with zero calories, zero sugar, and 300 milligrams of caffeine. And as a reminder, one cup of coffee is approximately 100 milligrams of caffeine. Next up, we have the Rain Razzleberry, which is 10 calories, zero sugar, and 300 milligrams of caffeine. Next up, we have the Rockstar Blue Raz, which is 10 calories, zero sugar, and 300 milligrams of caffeine. Next, we have the Ghost Sour Patch Kid Blue Raspberry, five calories, zero sugar, and 200 milligrams of caffeine. Next, we have the Alani New Breezeberry, which is 15 calories, zero sugar, and 200 milligrams of caffeine. And last, we have the Adrenaline Shock with 10 calories, zero sugar, and 300 milligrams of caffeine. So just like last time, I'm gonna be reviewing three today and then cut right into reviewing three tomorrow. I decided I wanted to start out with more of the OG flavors, the ones that have been out the longest, uh, just to kind of get a better baseline, I think. We're gonna be starting out with the Bang Blue Raz, the Rockstar Blue Raz, and the Rain Razzleberry. First, we're gonna be starting out with this Bang Blue Raz. I know this one has been out for a while. I've seen it on the shelf for years, um, but I feel like this will be a good baseline to start out with. It doesn't smell as sweet as some of the other bangs. I definitely get a lot of like tartness. It's kind of like that raspberry tartness on the smell. Let's see how it is. No baby sips. So this is actually one of the lighter bang flavors, I would say. It's not real strong in blue raspberry flavor. It does kind of taste like, like a blue raspberry sour candy. Um, so like I know the ghost is like blue raspberry sour patch kid, but this is kind of going along the same lines It's kind of like sweet and then sour. It does have a slight like artificial sweetener finish. It's pretty good It does have like that sweetness that comes through at the end which does overpower the flavor just a little bit and The flavor is not really uh, long-lasting throughout your sip So I'm gonna be giving you all six ratings at the end. So make sure you stay tuned for that Next up, we have the Rain Razzleberry. And like last time, I like to do this like right after the bang just because they are in lawsuits back and forth with each other. So I try to, you know, settle that feud once and for all right here. Smells very similar to the last one. This one, the Rain has like a much stronger smell to it which the bang kind of lacked a little bit of flavor. So let's see, you know, how if this Rain's better. Hmm. So the flavor isn't any stronger than the bang flavor as far as like hitting you in the face, but it does last longer after you sip it. Uh, the, the sweetener doesn't come in and overpower the flavor. It's really just more of a long lasting flavor than the bang is. Um, I don't get any artificial sweetener taste in this. I would say with both this 
and the Bang, I would have probably liked them a little stronger in flavor. Um, they're both kind of light tasting, which, you know, isn't bad, but if I'm going for a blue raspberry flavor, I kind of want like that intense blue raspberry taste. That's just me personally. So last one for today, I have the Rockstar Blue Raz, and this one was the cheapest out of all of them. I was finding these rock stars four for five dollars. Uh, great deal if you can find them on sale. If you could find a cheaper energy drink that tastes just as good, you know, that's a win win situation right there. This one smells a lot different than the first two. It doesn't really smell like blue raspberry to me, it smells like maybe blue raspberry, but then like a tropical smell, like almost like a mango pineapple smell to it honestly definitely like a sweeter smell than the first two i was getting like a lot of tart coming through on the smell with those first two and then this one i just kind of get mostly sweetness on the smell this one has definitely the strongest flavor out of all of them it's just not blue raspberry to me it's definitely kind of like a tropical maybe slight mango taste to it. And I'm not a big mango fan. Actually, I'm not a mango fan at all. So that's kind of turning me off. They definitely missed the mark here um, with the blue raspberry flavor. It does have a slight aftertaste. I get a slight chemical aftertaste as well as kind of like an artificial sweetener aftertaste. Uh, no like BCAA aftertaste at all. Um, you know, that, that finish is kind of like bitter. Like you first get like a sweet taste and then like this like little bit of bitterness comes in at the end. Carbonation's all right and it is drinkable. That's it for today. We're gonna cut right into tomorrow. Welcome back to day two of the Blue Raspberry Battle Royal. We're gonna be reviewing the Adrenaline Shock Blue Raspberry the Ghost Sour Patch Kid Blue Raspberry, and the Alani New Breezeberry. And as always, the ones from yesterday, I put in these bottles to keep carbonation so they don't go flat on me, just in case there's any tie breakers at the end, because I'm gonna give you all the rankings and my tier list at the end. So first one for today, I'm gonna try this Adrenaline Shock. And the reason I did wanna try this one first is just because I haven't really liked these Adrenaline Shocks. So my theory is that if it's not good, that I'll have a good one after this to kind of wash down that bad taste. So hopefully this one is better than some of the other ones, but I don't think I've really rated these higher than like a two yet. It actually smells uh, really good. It's got a really strong blue raspberry smell. Candy, kind of like sour candy-ish. Well, I'll be. This is definitely the best adrenaline shock that I've had so far. I won't say it's like an elite flavor or anything, but it's probably gonna be better than some of the other ones uh, for sure. It has a very good blue raspberry initial taste. It has like a nice tartness to go along with that. It is sweet, so it's like that perfect blue raspberry, like sweet and tartness. Uh, the only thing that I do notice is a very slight aftertaste at the end, and it's kind of like just a real faint like bitter taste. I don't get like an artificial sweetener aftertaste. So far this is a good start. All right and next up I'm going to be reviewing this Alani New Breezeberry. Some of these Alani New flavors um, it's kind of hard to tell exactly what the flavor is going to taste like but then if you kind of do look at the label here it's pretty obvious that it is going to be like a blue raspberry flavor just because of the blue raspberries. You know, I think that they're going to probably add maybe a little bit of something else to it, but let's find out. This does smell kind of like a natural smell. I'm getting kind of like a citrus-ness uh, to it as well. With the Alani News, they are all naturally flavored, so it is going to be really hard to get that like real artificial blue raspberry taste uh, because blue raspberry really is kind of like an artificial taste. So we're going to have to see how this uh, natural flavor is going to be. This one's like really tart. So this one is 
really sweet up front with like a blue raspberry taste and then it gets really tart on the finish with like a lemon taste. I would say so far it's probably the most refreshing out of all these. If you're not really looking for that really intense flavor, uh, this might not be for you, but if you are looking for like a real intense flavor, uh, you don't mind the additional sweetness or anything, uh, this is a good flavor. All right, and last up we have the Ghost Sour Patch Kid Blue Raspberry. And this is actually the first Ghost that I am reviewing on this channel. So yeah, this one definitely has a real tart smell to it. So if I remember correctly what these kind of smell like, I mean, that's exactly what I'm smelling here. It's just kind of like a tart, real candy-ish blue raspberry. Nothing natural about it. Ooh, I think they might've did this right here. So this one's a little bit different from the other ones and What's kind of different about this one is what I was noticing about the other ones is that they were sweet up front and kind of tart on the finish. This one is kind of like completely the opposite. It's kind of sour up front and then sweet on the finish, which is really nice. I, I like that aspect of it, uh, that sweetness is really complimentary to the flavor. It doesn't overpower that blue raspberry taste. It's a really intense blue raspberry taste, but by no means is it like overwhelming or anything. It's got like a real smooth flavor. I'm really actually impressed by this one. I really think that they nailed uh, the Sour Patch Kid flavor. That's exactly what it reminds me of is that candy. I was really skeptical on this actually, you know, them being able to kind of pull that off without having some sort of like weird aftertaste. But this one doesn't have any aftertaste. So for this one, I would say that for Blue Raspberry, it's about as good as it can get. All right, so here's my final rankings in last place. With a 1.5, I'm gonna give it to this Rockstar Blue Raz. It just doesn't taste anything like Blue Raz. This has like a real like tropical mango taste to it. It definitely had like a little bit of an aftertaste and uh, for that reason, I had to give it a 1.5. You know, typically I would say this is a two, but just missing the mark so much on that Blue Raspberry flavor drop that score. All right, so in fifth place, I'm gonna give it to this Bang Blue Raz. I'm gonna give this a two and a half out of five. Uh, this one just kind of lacked intensity of flavor. What actually kind of happened was the sweetener kind of overpowered the flavor right after the initial sip, so you weren't getting like an intense flavor. Uh, just really artificial tasting. Not the worst, I would drink it again, uh, no doubt, but you know, some of these other flavors are just a lot better than this one. So in fourth place, I'm gonna give it to this Adrenaline Shock Blue Raspberry. This one was the best Adrenaline Shock that I've had so far. It had an aftertaste, but it wasn't as intense as some of the other ones I had. It was very faint, really nice intensity of flavor. That Blue Raspberry was very apparent and it didn't fade out quickly wasn't overpowered by any of the sweetness or tartness in this drink. Just the only thing that I would say is that it was had that little bit of aftertaste to it. So yeah, I'm gonna give this a three out of five. So there was a tie for second and third place between the Breezeberry and the Razzleberry here by Rain. And I really been tasting these back and forth and I can't determine which one I like better. It would all come down to what mood I am in that day. I'm gonna give these both a four out of five. If I'm in the mood for something more refreshing, kind of uh, more tart, more natural tasting, I would go with this Alani New Breezeberry. This one kind of just had more of like a lemon, refreshing taste to it. Um, if I'm in the mood for something more sweet, uh, candy tasting, and that classic artificial blue raspberry taste that you get kind of out of candy, I would totally go with this uh, rain here. All right, and our winner of Candy Can Combat Blue Raspberry Battle Royal, I'm gonna give it to this Ghost 
Blue Raspberry Sour Patch Kid. It's the first ghost that I'm featuring on this channel and it's not gonna be the last because this one was really good. I'm gonna give this a five out of five. Uh, mainly it just had the perfect amount of sweetness, the perfect amount of tartness. The flavor was spot on. It tasted just like that Blue Raspberry Sour Patch Kid and it had no aftertaste. Um, very artificial tasting just because it's supposed to taste like artificial flavored candy. So if you wanted like that more natural taste, that Alani New still might be the way to go. Overall, this one was really good and that is our champion. All right, everybody, that's it. If you found this video helpful, make sure you hit that like button. If you don't want to miss out on any more Can to Can Combat, hit that subscribe button. And if you guys have tried any of these blue raspberry flavored energy drinks, put your tier list down in the comments. I'd be interested to hear what you guys rank these and see how they compare to my ratings. And that's all I have. So until next time, I am out.